Medicare Certified Cardiac Rehab at Mulberry Health and Retirement. Better care, better life. And now, your live Doppler 18 forecast with meteorologist Chad Evans. Weather from where you live. All right, the county's outlined in blue right here is a winter weather advisory over the northeastern half of our viewing area because we've still got some icing going on there, mainly north of Remington now, but over towards Brook, Kentland, and Rensselaer, as well as Francisville, temperatures still at or below freezing with freezing rain, and a lot of freezing rain over Plasky, Fulton, also moving in to parts of Cass and Miami counties. A lot of icing up this way, getting reports over towards Fulton County of up to a quarter of an inch of ice, and even west out towards uh, the Wolcott area, reports of a a lot of icing as well, and even some icing down towards Burlington, eastern Carroll County, even northern Clinton County now, but it is gradually changing to rain here, Lafayette area over towards Oxford and points off to the southwest. But if we broaden out, you can see, boy, if you have travel plans west of the Mississippi River, a whole slew, an entire states under winter storm warnings, blizzard watches, blizzard warnings, winter storm watches all off to the west, and this orange box yeah, that's a tornado watch in parts of East Texas and Oklahoma. So very active weather pattern, and this strong storm system will bring a lot of rain our way. And yes, starting out as some ice. This is the icing, the total icing we'll have by later on tonight. Again, up to a quarter of an inch of ice here. Uh, northern Miami, Fulton, uh, Plasky over towards Newton and northern Jasper counties. Eighth of an inch pretty common here across the heart of the area from Howard County all the way to northern Benton County and less than that as you head south. A lot of these areas, Lafayette South, are gradually changing to rainfall. Notice on future cast, again, the freezing line working its way north overnight. So the freezing rain will hang on in our northern counties so probably 4 a.m. Then all rain tomorrow, temps 35 to 40 degrees, windy, just a raw day, and a lot of heavy rain for the Christmas services tomorrow night. There's 11 p.m., temps in the 30s, wind gusts to 35 miles an hour, and some localized flooding due to one to two inches of rain before the rain starts to pull out of here by Christmas morning. And rainfall, again, about an inch in the far eastern counties to nearly two inches in the west. Because the ground is frozen, that will lead to uh, areas of localized flooding. But the rain will move out of here Christmas morning, but some scattered snow showers will pivot in Christmas afternoon and Christmas evening. Could be a little, little minor accumulation from that and a few more snow showers with minor accumulation as we get into Saturday. So the forecast tonight, though, any freezing rain gradually changing to rain and it will change last over our northern counties tomorrow 39 rain and windy winds gusting to 35 watch out for local for localized flooding late tomorrow into tomorrow night scattered snow showers christmas day as well as saturday and through early next week before we watch another southern system as we head towards the middle of next week. And the winner of the Snowfall Contest, Julie Beardsley of Lafayette, she will win that home weather station. And we actually had 10 people guess the exact date, the right date, that her name was drawn. So uh, she wins the weather station and congrats to her.